Ever wondered how those massive offshore oil rigs float and extract oil from beneath the seabed? Let's break it down in video. We already discussed the principle behind floating of heavy objects like ship in our previous video. It is buoyancy. Offshore oil rigs or platforms are structures constructed for oil drilling and extraction. An oil rig is buoyant and can float on the water like big ship. The oil rigs have large mono hulls and are fully equipped with processing facilities. Incredibly, oil rigs can stay afloat in one place for a prolonged time. Some oil rigs are fully functional, but some can also store extracted oil and gas. In deep waters, up to 1,700 feet, fixed platforms with large steel or concrete legs are used. These legs attach to the ocean floor, providing stability. For depths from 1,500 to 4,900 feet, compliant towers are used, offering a taller fixed platform. Now for deeper waters, up to 12,000 feet, we have floating oil rigs. There are various types, but today, let's focus on the semi-submersible platform as an example. This platform is like a giant buoy supported on large pontoons, giving it buoyancy to float and be towed from one location to another. Some even have thrusters for added mobility. The pontoons are slowly flooded, keeping them below sea level. This ensures the work decks stay afloat while maintaining stability during rough seas. A lot goes into stabilizing the rigs to stay afloat on the water. Some drilling companies hook up the rigs to a stabilizing anchor using wire ropes. In other instances, they use computer-coordinated thrusters to keep the oil rigs stable. They may also build a series of propellers to add stability. However, stabilizing the rigs needs sophisticated tools. Now, let's explore what's on an oil rig. We've got the hoisting system for drilling, cranes for transporting supplies, living quarters for the crew, a helicopter pad for transport, and emergency lifeboats for safety. The main purpose of an oil rig is to drill and extract oil from below the seabed. The hoisting system lowers the drill string and a casing is used to reach the layers of rock where the oil lies. As drilling gets closer to the oil, a crucial device called a blowout preventer is installed to avoid catastrophic events caused by high pressure oil. It's like the rig's emergency brake to prevent oil spills. Once oil is successfully extracted, it's pumped into pipelines and delivered to onshore facilities. Subse pipelines, like the vast network in the Gulf of Mexico, play a crucial role in this process. Each drilling system is designed to withstand a wide range of wind and wave forces, including severe winter storms and hurricanes. We hope that you have now understood how these mega rigs float and extract oil from the seabed. For more such maritime knowledge, follow Marine Insight, stay afloat, stay informed.